Hello everyone, my name is William G and I'll be your guide for today's match day. And for those of you who don't know what match day is, it's the day where everyone, every medical student across the nation finds out which specialty and which residency program they'll be going into. And how it works is basically every medical student makes a list of their top choices of programs they want to go to. Every program makes a list of all the students they want and it all goes into a computer and through a process known as magic, they find out, they pair them off and find out where they go. So everyone here behind me has worked really hard for four years and it's all leading up to this big day. Um, we're going to follow everyone today, see how they're feeling, and then after once the envelopes open, we'll find out uh, where their bright futures will take them. Look, we're matching today. Literal match day. Let's go. Yeah. Ready, to, ready to get an answer, ready to know where I'm moving on to, and uh, yeah. hoping everyone has great success today too. I'm just, I just want to say that I'm extremely proud of my son after four years of medical school and all the other hard work to get here. This is what he's been waiting for. I feel great. Very happy with my four years. My family's super proud. My lovely fiance is extra proud. Yes. Are you proud of him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I'm so excited. With the, what was it? Monday when we find out, found out that, we, that he matched, I was just like, whoo! <laughs> I'm actually a Sophie Davis transfer, so I've been here for like two years, um, but I've been able to like make a lot of friends here and everyone was really inviting and I feel like I've gotten really good experiences here and so I think I'll be prepared for wherever the world takes me next. Yeah, I've been trying to like keep it, play it like cool and be like, yeah, you know, this is, you know, but the excitement's been building over the past 24 hours. I'm feeling very nervous. I'm feeling nervous, but good. I just can't wait to find out what happens at this point. He's done really good, so we're excited. I'm incredibly proud of him. This is yeah. a fantastic moment. Excited? Very excited. And yeah. Me too. Yeah. Who's, who's, who's this my dad and my mom's over there and my fiance's back there. But I want to say that I am so thankful to my parents because they were so supportive of me throughout all of med school and I wouldn't be here without them. Do you have anything to say? I'm very proud of her. I'm very proud of her. I think, I think she's going to be the best anesthesiologist wherever she's going to work. Oh, I think so too. I want her to be my doctor. <laughs>very special day for you um, and we are all so very proud of all that you've accomplished and what you're gonna go through today is an experience that doctors have been going through for a very long time um, and I just want to go over very quickly there's a couple people who want to give you their congratulations but I want to go over quickly how the process is gonna work um, we're gonna have three people who are gonna talk to you for just a minute each they've promised me just a minute um, and then you see the letters that are on the wall. Once I tell you, you're gonna get up and you're gonna go to the letter of your last name. You all still remember what your last name is, right? Um, you're gonna go to the letter that represents your last name. They're on these walls and, and there's two on the back on each side. They're in alphabetical order. Um, so when I ask you, you're gonna go up to those letters and you're gonna get an envelope. You're not gonna open the envelope until we tell you to. So you're gonna have to sit in that seat. You're not gonna try to see what's in the envelope. Um, you're just gonna go back to your seat with your family and your friends and you're gonna wait. And when we get to right before 12 o'clock, we're gonna actually count down and we're gonna all open the envelopes together, okay? So the only real rule is that once we start this program formally, you have to stay in the room until you've opened your envelope. You can't get your envelope and then leave. That's the, that's the rule that the NRMP puts on us. You've been under NRMP rules for a long time.
with the Dean of the College of Medicine, the Interim Dean, Mr. Dr. Mike Lucchese. Come on up. I'll be darned if I'm going to stand in between you and those envelopes. So um, I just, just know this, that we're all extremely, extremely proud of you. Um, and uh, this is a culmination of a lot of work. So go, uh, go continue doing great stuff, and um, congratulations. We got, on behalf of the class, present you with, <laughs> you match two. I match two. Right. <laughs> First of all, can I get a round of applause for the class of 2019? <laughs> and now the, the president of Downstate Medical Center, Dr. Wayne Riley. Hello. Good afternoon. Uh, still good morning, uh, good morning class of 2019 and family, friends, partners, significant others, cousins from another mother, <laughs> sisters from another mister, we got it all here today. Good morning. Welcome to one of the three days you never forget as in the life of a physician. Number one, the day you got your letter saying you were, you were accepted at Downstate. This is number two, match day. And number three is going to be your first day of internship when you're sweating like bullets and your knees are knocking. <laughs> so class of 2019, take this day in. This is an amazing process. I've been through it. All of the faculty have been through it. I, I, I couldn't sleep last night. <laughs> I had flashbacks to the night before my match day. And it's just one of those periods in rites of passage as a physician you will never forget. And I'm so delighted to see that your family, friends, and significant others will be here. So again, this is the beginning of an amazing few months for you when you now will have to pivot to preparing to leave here and to go out and begin your residency training in your chosen field. So this is a great day and one that we want you to take in to celebrate with your family and friends and really just savor the moment. Now for parents and others, Literally, this envelope that your loved one has is, determines what their life is going to be for at least a year, if not more. They don't know what's in the envelope. So when they open it, they'll sh you may see some astonishment on their faces, some surprise. You may see tears. You may, you may hear giggles. It's all normal. It's okay. Because this is the, this is the emotion that's uh, attached to this great day. Now... Class of 2019, this is so important that I have the honor of introducing the Chancellor of the State University of New York, Dr. Christina Johnson, who came down from Albany today to be at your match day. Chancellor Johnson. Wow, this is super exciting. I have never been to a match day before. I thought March Madness had something to do about that. But anyway, uh, really excited. So I, I'm, I have to filibuster, I guess, for another minute because it's getting close. I can't believe you all haven't opened your envelopes yet. I don't, don't, don't. I'm not encouraging you to do that. Let me just say something serious and then something fun and then I'll conclude. Uh, the seriousness is that all y'all, uh, I spent eight years down south, so all y'all is plural for y'all. All y'all right. have big shoes to fill because we know that in the last two weeks, downstate educated medical doctors have one of the top four top docs designations in the entire country tied with, yeah. So you're, you're going to join and become and make that 900 be like 5,000 of the top 55,000. Um, across the country, we know it's 33,000 matches out of what, I guess 43,000 possibilities. So I'm very excited. I'm watching. I'm very mindful of the clock, you know. Anyway, I just really wanted to say thank you. I wanted to thank Dr. Riley, all the professionals that got you here today. And I hope your dreams come true in about two minutes, and congratulations. All right, we got one minute to go, one minute to go, but let's... Class of 2019, 
Let's give all your professors a round of applause for getting you to today. Let's acknowledge Dr. Jeff Putnam and the staff. Great job, Jeff. So before we start this, I have a t-shirt for Dr. Oh, Riley, okay. too. Great. And for the Chancellor, Chancellor. come on back up here. Are you ready? Ready? All right. When I press this button, we're going to count down. Ready? Count down with us, just like New Year's. All right, ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Open those envelopes. Going to Cleveland Clinic for ortho. I'm a number one choice, so got my top choice. Yeah. We all saw that coming. Let's be honest. <laughs> I'm not saying there was a match violation, but there wasn't one. <laughs> there definitely wasn't one. <laughs> We're thrilled for him. So he's he's leaving Brooklyn and heading west. Yeah. I'll be at NYU next year. Internal medicine. Oh, congratulations. That's Thank exciting. you. Thank you very much. Um, who, do you, who did you bring with you today? Oh, okay. So I have my parents here today. Hi. Right. Congratulations, Brandon. We're very proud of you. Thank you. Hi, Cynthia Adelson. He got his first choice. Yay, SUNY Downstate for training him so well. So emotional. I mean, I'm crying. This is awesome. So congratulations to all the class on Match Day. Really proud of all our graduate students, graduating students from across SUNY that are matched today. So thank you. What a great day. I'm nervous. <laughs> it's going very well. No. I match, I'm happy, and I'm still very nervous. Ahead of you, but hey, nothing you haven't seen before, right? Where are yes. you going? Uh, Cornell. Cornell? Yes, yeah, so I'm staying in New York. Well, that's, Cornell's a pretty good place, I've heard of it, you know. I'm nervous, Will. You're gonna do amazing. Thank you. Do you have any advice for anyone who's gonna be in the shoes next year? Follow your dreams. Go with your number one choice, follow your gut, and it'll all work out. I got Case Western. It was my number one. Oh, you got your number one? Yes, <laughs> thank you. Oh, how are you feeling? Uh, shocked. <laughs> yeah. Today's a good day. I mean, yes. This? this is my dad. She's my daughter. Nice. So proud of her. Well, I want to congratulate the class of 2019 uh, on their match day. This is a very special day in the life of a physician. Uh, it's one that you'll never forget. Uh, just the sheer excitement and uh, sometimes sheer terror of opening up your envelope not sleeping the night before, and here it is. You now know where your life as a young physician is going to begin, and so again, congratulations. My name is Ikra, and I matched at Columbia. My name is Saira, and I matched Montefiore. Well, I matched in Vancouver. <laughs> uh, my name is Frederick. Uh, I, matched to, I, I matched into anesthesia at Montefiore. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Excited? Very excited. Nervous, but excited. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Shout out to Sophie Davis. Temple University for internal medicine. Dude, I'm so excited for you. How Thanks. are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Um, I'm excited to start residency. I'm happy that Downstate could bring me to this level. And I'm very, very excited and very happy about this news. Yes. I thought it was a really, really good learning experience. Met some great people and thought, you know, it prepared me very well for residency. So I feel excited and prepared because of Downstate. Really, really happy. Got my number one everything. Emory for anesthesia and transitional year at Mathers for my intern year. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations to you, too. Thank for matching. You. How are you feeling? Great. I mean, I was just bawling my eyes out, so yeah. at this point now, it's kind of settling in. I'm calming down a little bit. Is today your birthday? It is my birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. I appreciate what a it. Yes, yes. Best gift ever. Here with my mom, so it's a great moment for the family and all. Very happy. Thank you, Downstate. It's been great. As a graduate of Downstate myself in 1984 and the proud parent of my beautiful daughter, Emily, who is a graduate of 2019, I can't be prouder of both Emily and this university. 
It's such a wonderful place to be and such a wonderful place to train. And I'm so happy to be part of it. Jacoby Medical Center. Oh, oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations. How do you feel? I'm very happy. It's my number one choice. So, yeah. yeah. And what special people did you bring with you today? Oh, yeah. These two special people right here, my parents. Yeah. been with me the whole way. It's my girlfriend, Daniela. She'll be matching next year. <laughs> how, do you guys, how do you guys feel? Happy. Uh, we feel very, very happy. Very, very happy. Uh, very excited. Dead. There's a lot to say about Down State, um, but it's the uh, best institution ever, honestly. It's like it's prepared me to be anything I want to be in, to be at my number one choice. Like, I'm so happy. Like, <laughs> it got you this far. It got me this far. And it'll get me further. Like, <laughs> I'm a Down State resident, and a season resident at Down State. Okay. Yeah. You're a big inspiration for him? Uh, he seems like to be the bigger one now, but, uh, but, um, no, nah, I mean, we just knew we wanted to be doctors growing up, you know, we both had events that led us to, you know, inspire, medicine, so we just ended up chasing our dream and acquiring it. Uh, internal medicine at Downstate. Oh, yep, staying local, staying here. Nice, nice, yeah. and do you, have, uh, any, do you have any thoughts about your time here at Downstate and your future at Downstate now? I love the patients so much, and, uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Like, I'm at a loss for words right now. I'm just very proud of him. Today's a good day. He's worked yes. very hard. Yeah, we're proud of him, man. We are both doctors, actually. Oh, you're both doctors? Yeah, okay. so we are proud of him to stay down, down state. Okay. okay. Nice. So okay. hopefully... Now, now the family's complete. <laughs> yeah, now, yeah, well, now he has to stay in down state for another three years. Yeah. Maybe another five years because you're going to do something else after that. <laughs> I am so proud of all these downstate students. And on behalf of the faculty and the administration, we could not be happier. This is one of my favorite days of the year, this day in graduation. And I am so happy to be a part of it for all the individual relationships that I've had with students and the class as a whole. I am just flying. So congratulations to the class. And we know we're gonna hear wonderful things from, about, from you in the future. Uh, Ryan McLaughlin, uh, you penned for four years for pm &R. I'm feeling just so anxious and I just hope he's happy, <laughs> you know, because that's what it's about and, and I'm really proud of him. I'm just so proud of him. I really. So I'm going to North Shore LIJ, my number one for anesthesia. And I'm going to Stony Brook for EM, also my number one. <laughs> yeah. What's up, man? What's up? I know. <laughs> So I'll be at a Temple for my preliminary year and at Downstate for Dermatology. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank it's you. What's going through your head right now? Um, excited? I'm excited. I'm mostly overwhelmed. You know, we've been kind of consumed with all of this learning for so many years. We've been broken down to be built back up. So I'm just happy and I feel very blessed, you know. And I'm looking forward to sleeping and having a paycheck. <laughs> Ready to be a functional member of society. Exactly, exactly. I'm just excited. I'm so excited for Erica and especially that she matched for Derm here at SUNY Downstate because the school has been great for her. And I, we're just excited for the family and for everyone else that has graduated. Thank you so much and congratulations, Erica. <laughs> this, is, this is by far one of the happiest days that, that we have uh, at Downstate. Very proud of every one of these uh, these young people. They really worked very hard, and you can see the enjoyment and the excitement. This makes it all worthwhile. So, good luck to everyone. I'm very, very proud of all of them. Any words of advice for them in the future? Yeah, just to continue what they're doing. Work hard. Um, always put the patient first. That's the most important thing. As long as they do that, then the sky's the limit. So the envelope has been the envelopes have been open. You know, the room is still buzzing with excitement. Everyone's here celebrating with their family and friends. And I just gotta say, I'm really proud of all my classmates, each and single one of them. They've been doing amazing things in med school and they'll continue to do amazing things in their future wherever they go. And you know, all of this is thanks to Downstate. Like if I, there's really no other place like it. If I could go back in time and pick any other school, I'll pick Downstate every single time. <laughs>